What is up guys, it's GB here, and I'm going to be showing you guys how you can easily fix your internet speed when you download this MSI Dragon Center software. So basically what happens is when you first notice that when you download this Dragon Center, you notice that your obviously your internet speed just completely drops. Uh, this has happened to me too. My speed I know is normally around 150 to 200 uh, megabytes per second, so we're about like 15 to 18 download uh, upload speed. And I noticed that whenever I download this software from MSI, that my speed just completely disintegrated, like into dust. Like honestly, like drop down from 150 to 200 to 30, or like lower than that. So I'm going to show you guys how you can easily fix this without uninstalling MSI Dragon Center and keeping this, because honestly, their software is valuable for those people who want to know their frequency, their core temperatures, and all their uh, you know, little component uh, uh, stuff and shit, and yeah, let's just get straight to it. So, you know, when you first of all start MSI Dragon Center, you notice that when you go to Program and Features, you're going to see this program called CFOS Speed, and this is the little guy that's technically messing with your internet speed. Like, honestly, I don't know why they even bothered having this little thing, but, you know, Land Manager needs it, which obviously this software comes with it. So, you know, instead of obviously uninstalling Dragon Center, uninstall that little doohickey there, CFOS speed, just uninstall that, you know, take it off of there, uh, and then after you do that, you know that when you reboot your PC, obviously, it still downloads, it comes back, it's like a little virus that just all of a sudden pops up back on your computer, so what you want to do is, you want to go on to File Explorer, go on your local disk, C drive, and then you want to go to Program Files 86, Find your damn MSI folder, go to One Dragon Center, and go to Land Manager. This is where all it is. This is where that little program file is. You see CFOS, CFOS speed right there. Look at that. Look at that. There he is. So, what you want to do is if you want to get rid of this guy, you don't want to delete him because obviously when you reboot it, it's going to come back. So, technically, you're going to see CFOS speed, but instead of .ex, it's going to be called .exe. So, just take off the E off of it, and just name it .ex, and that's your solution, guys. Once you rename it, which I have already done before, just, you know, close it, close it, go here, exit out of MSI Dragon Center, or reboot your PC, whatever is much easier for you. Maybe either, yeah, technically, honestly, reboot your PC, because that's better than nothing. Let's see it. So, I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I am back. So, you want to go to C know once you reboot it you're gonna notice that CFOS speed on your program files is not downloaded yet so that's the good thing that's how it is supposed to be now test your internet connection and let's see oh yeah baby look at that speed now that's what you really want guys 177 all right guys finally oh all that pressure gone, you know, like all that hate and everything, this software gone. Instead of whacking that software off your PC for eternal, eternity, you know, wiping it off of the face of the planet Earth, you can still keep that software MSI provided you. And keep it like this, simple and easy fix, look at my upload speed too, ha <laughs> ha 18. Uh, yeah, so yeah guys, there it is, thank you all for watching, you know, and uh, honestly, have fun with Dragon Center now keep it on your PC, no issues created by it any longer, and uh, you also have another idea, if this does not work for you, just go to Windows Services and just disable CFOS speed completely. I want to thank the MSI forum for this, because without them, I would also be really having a difficult time, and I probably would have deleted Dragon Center forever, and it's such a helpful software for me, because I can check out my CPU temperatures if they're going above 50 Celsius, which is not safe. But yeah, guys, thank you all for watching again. I'll put the description to their forum down below. I'll put the link to their forum down in the description below. And if you guys have any more questions, you know, comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.